I am Sue, the Soggy Stamper. Rain or shine, it's stamping time. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the Pacific Northwest. And um, today is a sunny day. Rather smoky from the fires are all um, in Canada and from fires here in Washington State. Um, but you can still see the mountains out behind. Just It's just a bit smoky. And I am delighted to show you this translucent florals stamp set and um, and dies. Uh, you can buy it as a bundle. It's in the upcoming de September through December mini catalog. I tend to refer to it as the fall mini catalog. And it's one of the stamp sets that is in there. The stamp set looks like this. And I was intrigued by the fact that you could, it looks like it's vellum, stamped on vellum. It has a couple of very nice greetings. Wishing you all the happiness in the world, which is perfect for putting on the inside of a card. Happy birthday, congratulations, and you are the best. So this is the stamp set that we'll be using. And it has they have corresponding dies. Oh. Corresponding dies um, to cut out the stamped images. So that goes like that. This one cuts out this image. This one cuts out this one. And this one cuts out this petal. Nope, goes that way. And then we have one even for this little one here. And a couple of, um, the leaf die does not have a die to cut it out. There's a die cut out these little things. And there's even one to cut. No, that one's not it. I think this one will cut. That little nope. So this there's some little dies in addition. A stem, and then there's petals and leaves, and uh, a couple of little flowers that you can build flowers with. So it's a very nice um, die set. And we'll be using it. In the second card, well, we, we'll use it partly in this card that I'm going to be making. So, for this card, oh, in addition to that, there is with the online exclusives, there's this radiating stitches dies, and it puts stitches, emboss, it embosses or cuts stitches along there, as well as cutting it out. And I was surprised I hadn't noticed, but this inside edge does not cut out. But you could, but you so you can use one of these, one of these things, as to put, to cut a piece to go in there. But with this card, I did not do that. I'm going to set that aside, and then for the paper. Well, you might want to see this is the card, yeah. And I like the top fold cards. This actually is. A card front I used it for my swap for the new catalog. I'm going to be making this card again and I like to have I like to cut my card stock with four and a quarter by eleven and then score it at five and a half so that it stands up really nicely on a shelf. So the card base is basic white. Then I have already die cut because this doesn't fit in the mini uh, stamp and die cut. Already die cut this from Mossy Meadow, and it's going to go. We'll put it right on here right now, onto the card front.
fold was not exactly even and I like to have the front show not show the uneven okay so I could have cut a piece of cardstock using one of the other dies one of these smaller dies to fit in there but I didn't think about that so what I did was I took this piece just measured the distance in here in between and came up with four and a sixteenth for the vertical and two and three fourths and we're going to stamp the greeting and the leaves on that and I had already got had my stamp apparatus set up for doing multiple stampings of that for the card swap so I am just going to use it um, I am really sorry that we did we're not able to continue it I hope that um, in the near future they'll be able to work out the legal comp the legal issues um, and be able to provide offer it again slide this over a little bit oh, that's going in there so what I did was I positioned the two stamps onto the cardstock uninked and then picked it, picked it up with the plate and then I took it out and I looked to see because there are grids on there can you see the grids look to see if the word in particular the word greet the greeting was lined up evenly with the grids and it is so I'm going to ink the leaves with mossy metal being careful not to get any of that ink onto the greeting just tap it lightly I think I want to tap it a little bit more Come on. because it looks like here in the center I didn't quite get it inked there that looks better and then I have one of these little cubes from the paper pumpkin kits you can buy the cubes uninked on the, in the annual catalog and then ink them up for whichever color you like but it works really really well when you're using Stamparatus or some other similar machine and you just fold it over and there you have it so easy that on here this is a really quick card at least once you get it the design done and then I stamped the large this stamp in um, Flirty Flamingo and I've already die cut it out because this was a leftover from my project. I'm going to add that with Stampin' Dimensional. Come on. Actually, scrap around the edge works just fine. on here like so and then we need a little bit of bling I could put could have put on um, the ribbon mm, maybe I don't know where I would have put it but we have these wonderful flat adhesive backed pearls I have fallen in love with them and I've actually ordered more because I've put you can see I pretty much used them up of course, I used them for the swap. That made a difference, too. 
I just scatter three of them on here. Come on. For a little bit of bling. Like so. And this one I'll leave empty on the inside to handwrite a message. Because this says, you're the best. And um, I would have to handwrite why they are the best, what they have done that made me think of that. So there is the first sample with stamped images. And now I'm going to make a card that has die cut images. Or die cuts rather, not images. And it looks like this. This one I made with a, with a side fold and with a, the ribbon coming down the side. And it said, it was a wedding card, and it said, um, uh, marriage is a journey. And then on the inside, it said, good thing you get to take your best friend with you. And that was the wedding card. But I have already sent it, so I couldn't show you. And the stamp set for the greeting is very, very old. It's a very old one. So we're going to make it this time as a birthday. And I have used five and a quarter by four um, soft sea foam. And this is an old die. It's um, called Greenery. Um, and it just was sitting in my um, soft sea foam scrap envelope for when I made the wedding card, and I thought, oh, that would look beautiful. So that's the base, base layer. Gives a lot of detail without being too, gives a lot of subtle detail. Make sure I get that fold to the top. They used this stamp set, this bundle, in a crafting, craft, crafting with you event in June that I didn't partake in because we were traveling at the time. But I could hardly wait until I could pre-order the set because it makes such lovely cards. Now the secret that they used was to use cardstock vellum and you color it with Stampin' Blends. And it does curl, but not too bad. And you just use the side of your Stampin' Blend. This is the dark bubble bath. I love the color of it. And you just kind of blend it in there. Then to make enough so that I can die cut two petals. The more you color it, the darker it will get. And I kind of worried the first time I did this because if you look through it, you can see you can see streaks, kind of. But as it dries, they kind of they go away partly, and it really doesn't matter because the, you're going to use this side, and it's really not that obvious. I have already done that with the um, mossy meadow for the leaves. So now let's cut out them. The dies. On this card, I used this die with a flat petal, and I used this one. And I think it's kind of funny, I think it's funky that the petal doesn't come on down here. So I'm going to use two of this one this time. I'm going to need to trim my cardstock down, down a bit.
so that it will go through the mini stampin' blend or stampin' emboss. I'm going to anchor it. Put the sandwich together. Oop. We have one set of petals, then I'm going to repeat with the other, with another set. Let's see, there's got to be a way to fit this in here. And that looks good. If you would like to see the pro new product coming up earlier than everybody else and have a chance to order it a month in advance so that you can make samples to show people and be one of the first to do this, I um, suggest you become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, it's fun. Um, you can make as much money as you want. Um, depending on how much you work, you can do it just to pay for your hobby. Or you can get other people to, you know, sell it to other people and um, earn a little extra to mm, make a car payment. Or I know one gal, one Stampin' Up! demonstrator sends, sent her daughter to um, private parochial school based on what she was making. Okay, now we need to do the leaves. So like I say, you can make as much as you want or as little as you want. Many of the demonstrators right now are in Las Vegas at what they call Backstage, which is kind of like a convention that's more focused on business um, things. And they're back there now enjoying a wonderful weekend. I'd, don't, I don't have that big a business, and so I am staying home. Okay, tape. Got to tape these down because it's really tight fit on here. So if you're interested in becoming a demonstrator, I would love to have you on my team. I uh, am available to give you help at any time you need or want. Don't have to be local to me. Um, I can work with you through Zoom or uh, um, FaceTime you, however you need to work with me for my help. Okay, so now we've got a couple of leaves. I'm not going to use the stem. I've been a demonstrator for 22 years, and I cannot imagine life without being one. I got into it primarily because I love to teach and I love love to share the the fun of creating with rubber stamps. For me it's instant gratification. Don't have to spend a long period of time working on it. You just get it done quickly. 
and have such a beautiful product at the end. Okay, so now we just put our flower together. And I'm going to use mini glue dots. These little tiny ones come from the paper pumpkin kit. It's a monthly um, subscri subscription for, I think it's $24 now. And you get a box in the mail every month with all the products, all the products you need to make well, sometimes it makes nine cards or it might make uh, gift boxes Thanksgiving at Halloween time it's going to make some little treat holders I'm sure it includes the ink the little square ink pads and adhesive like this and embellishments and most of the cards stock has been pre-printed with beautiful backgrounds on it. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can contact me and I can help you get signed up for it. You can, at any time, you can cancel it or if you need to hold it off a month because you're getting behind in making the kits, that's good too. You just have to let them know before the 10th of the month that you don't want that month's kit. And then it will resume again the next month unless you decide that you're going to quit altogether. Okay, now let's see how we're going to put the leaves on here. I think I'll put one there. The thing about these mini glue dots is you with working with vellum, you can't see the dots very well, so it's a good way to glue them together. Okay, then we'll put that on here with stamping dimensionals or scraps of them. Let's see here. No, I just want to just a Stampin' Dimensional, because it's small and it will show through a bit. Could use just a glue dot. I always wonder quite how, to, where to place that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put it down lower, because I've got to put a ribbon up there. Another one on. Nah, I'll just put some adhesive on it. There. And we'll put, I've got this greeting, happy birthday. I already have stamped it with the mossy meadow and I cut it out using the deckled rectangles. And I use this one, oop, the smallest one, and yes, it's much longer than what I have, so what I did was I cut it first that way and had all this long extra piece. Then I moved it over and got it so that it was just on the edges and ran it through a second time and that cut off the extra. It's a great way to custom customize your dies to the size of the greeting that you have. Hi, Marcia. Thank you for watching. Oh, come on.
So when you have troubles getting them off, if you poke them with this, there we go. Right. Take your pick tool is a lifesaver for a lot of different things. Okay. In the center, you could cut out one of these things to put in the center, or perhaps even since you're looking down on the flower, you could cut out something like that. But I'm going to embellish it with one of these beautiful, large, adhesive-backed flat pearls because it picks up the color of the pink very, very well. And then for the ribbon, I wanted something that was sparkly. And so I used this on the wedding card and I used it on a sample card, but then I discovered that, oh, this is last year's holiday from last year's holiday catalog, not this year's. So it's not available um, if you happen to have it. Great, you can use it there. But this year, there is this iridescent ribbon. And I think this time, I'm going to use it on this card. It's a little heavier, so it's not quite as effective in the illusion of lightness and stuff, but it'll work. You know what? I'm not very good at tying these. Another trick that I like to use is to put a dot of a glue dot on the cardstock right where I want the knot. This is a pretty small glue dot, but we'll try it. Maybe I'll put a couple there. because the ribbon is fairly wide. And then it keeps gives me hands free. As I press the ribbon down there. Well, it's not going to work because it's this is a different ribbon. Anyway, you press the ribbon down there, and it should stick to the glue dots. Well, that kind of it does. And then you don't have to worry about it. It helps to keep it tight. That's kind of a funky knot. It's supposed to be upside down, but that's okay. And I do like this ribbon. I think I like it better than the sheer ribbon. So there we have it. The sheer ribbon and the, um, it's called iridescent ribbon from this Christmas catalog and I think I do think that that this one's better so there we have it two different ways to use the iridescent or translucent um, florals stamp set and dyes and uh, I thank you for watching 
This is Sue, the Soggy Stamper. Um, my blog is SoggyStamper.com, and I will put the measurements, I will put the directions for these cards on there. And um, my, if you have any questions, my email is Sue at SoggyStamper.com. My store, online store is CreationsbySue.StampinUp.net, and I'd love to have you as a customer. The new catalog is coming out, um, will be active in second I think of um, September maybe the fourth or fifth in any case it's coming up real soon if you would like to have a catalog and you don't already have a customer I mean a demonstrator and you live in the United States I'd be love to send you it. just email me with your name and your um, snail mail address and a phone number so that I can follow up with you to see that you get it so thank you very much for watching and um, We'll see you next Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.